Hello everybody and welcome to my 106 VBA 2010 tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to show you how you can add an extra option to your right click menu. So in your worksheet when you right click and you get all these options you can add in your own and then assign them to macros. Um, so in order to do this uh, I've got a macro in my module uh, and it just, is, just says hello uh, and puts whatever the active cell is value uh, as hello world. Uh, so when I'm going to right click and when you right click you're going to be able to press a button and it's going to run that macro. Uh, this is just an example one obviously you can do a lot more complicated things but I just want to show you how you actually instigate the call to this sub and then you can do what you want with that. Uh, so I'm going to set it up so that it adds the menu when the workbook opens. So let's go to workbook and then open event uh, and then we're going to start creating our control. So the first thing we want to do is reference to our right click menu. So let's go dim context menu as command bar. Uh, and the command bars are all the kind of things you see in your uh, in your in your Excel. Uh, and then I want to spe specify which command bar I'm doing. So let's set our context menu equal to application Oh, and I can't write equals equal to application dot command bars. Uh, and then we want to put in our ID for the right click one, which is cell. Uh, so whenever we right click on a cell, uh, it's going to run up this context menu. So I'm just going to manipulate this context menu uh, and I'm going to add in one more um, one more right click option. So to do that, I'm going to go uh, with context menu and make sure you spell it right context menu dot controls dot add uh, and then we want to put our type equal to an MSO control button and then we want to make our before equal to one and so that's going to add our button but at the moment we haven't actually specified anything with it so in our with block that I'm using we're going to do dot on action equals and then we need to put in the name of the macro we want to run so I want to first of all take the name of the workbook so this workbook dot name and then we want another apostrophe and an exclamation mark and then my procedure name which is hello um let's just check i've got that right so procedure name hello great okay um and then next of all i'm going to set my dot face id property uh and what this property is is a number um uh or an integer uh and it sets the icon image so I've got this web page that I'll put a link to uh, and a, in the description uh, and it's got all of the possible icons you can do and their ID on them uh, just as an image just as a quick reference um, and so you just look on here you pick what picture you want and pick what ID it is so I want this light bulb uh, and that's 351 so let's put face ID equals and then 351 um, and that just gives makes it a bit more visual uh, people relate more to an image than they will to text uh, we then want to put our caption in so dot caption equals and then this is what it's going to say so I'm just going to put hello uh, and that's all my caption is going to say uh, and then finally we want to tag it and this is going to allow us to delete it later so let's put it as my cell control tag uh, and so that's just something we can reference it with later um, and so that's going to create our control so let's press play uh, and then let's go into our spreadsheet and then right click and you see it's got this hello option now on our drop down 
and we're clicking it and it says hello world um so that is how you add a right click button and you can add as many as you want uh just making sure you put the before in so that it puts them in order um we could actually do i actually want to do another thing because you don't want this button showing up once you've closed down excel and stuff like that so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to put in a workbook and then uh, before close event in uh, and before the workbook closes i just want to um, get rid of this right click button so it doesn't show up anymore um, so all I need to do to do this is just use my tag that I've been using that I created before um, and again we need to first of all create our reference to the command bar so let's link to the cell one uh, and then I'm just going to do for each control in context menu dot controls so I'm going to loop through all of my controls uh, and then I'm going to go if control dot tag equals and then my underscore cell underscore control underscore tag then end if and then in here we just want to do control dot delete so that's going to go through and delete any with our my cell control tag so i haven't been created with that tag so it's going to delete all of them for me so let's press play uh, and it's not going to know which one to play uh, because we need to close it so let's save it down before we close it so let's press save uh, and then let's close it down. Uh, and then if we've got create a new workbook, then we're not going to have it on our right menu. Uh, but if we open up our tutorial 106, then because we've got the workbook open event, we then are able, it adds our button back in for us. So that is how you create a right click button um, and that's going to be it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial I'll show you how you can create a little sub menu with multiple uh, options in it. So thanks for listening and I hope to catch you soon.